everyone welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're new here hi hello i hope you'll stick around so subscribe to this channel for more vape videos and turn on the little bell symbol so you get notified whenever i upload a new video you can check the description box below for important links like where to find me outside of youtube facebook instagram and twitter if you're not following me on my social medias already you might want to i do all of my extra vape stuff giveaways over there i don't do them here on youtube so if you want to try to win chances are i have a giveaway running right now go check it out. I also like to use Twitter to chat with you guys directly every day and I love Instagram for Instagram story. I post there all day every day so if you want to see little sneak peeks into my everyday life that's where to see it. I also have a second YouTube channel where I upload non-vape related videos so if you want to see what else I bring to the internet land you can check out that channel. I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. I would love it if you guys help me get there. I'm super excited. I also have a vape related Patreon where I do monthly vape rewards so you can get e-liquids or mods depending on which tier you join sent to you monthly from yours truly i also will link below to my amazon shop i get a lot of questions about like what camera or lighting or computer like what qu equipment i use to make my videos so you can check my amazon shop it also has a lot of like my favorite other types of items like baby items too because i do have a 10 month old son so all the links are down below the description is filled with important stuff check it out but let's get right into today's video i have the fit kit by smoke or smock i don't care what you call it so this is a tiny little pod device and we're just gonna get right into it i got it from directvapor.com that's d-i-r-e-c-t-v-a-p-o-r.com and we're gonna try it out because like why not it's a pod and everyone is into it and honestly this looks a lot like jewel here's a do not eat packet like jewel kind of sucks because they don't have any low nicotine pods they only have like high nicotine pods so under that Layer. There is also a little fill bottle, needle nose fill bottle, a micro USB to USB charge cord, a little attention card saying let the wick saturate up, and then a little user's guide as well as another do not eat packet. Here is the battery. It is very similarly shaped like the Jewel, but it is a little bit thicker. It does say smock here. Woo! And fit on this side. You can see it is a trapezoid the charge port is at the bottom and here is where the pod connects and here are the pods again looking a lot like the jewel esqueness and then those just fit right in there like so the fact that that little light didn't like flash when i connected the pod worries me that the battery is not charged you do fill up the pod right here you just pull out this little tab and you fill in there with the needle nose and i do have some of my cloud kiss flavor already preloaded into a needle nose just for specific devices like this and my flavor cloud kiss is available at bonsaivapor.com this is a strawberry cake batter you can use my code tia20 for 20 percent off that flavor 70 percent vegetable glycerin 30 percent propylene glycol blend available in 0 3 6 and 12 12 milligrams nicotine and again you can use my code tia20 at bonsai um, you can actually use that code for any of the bonsai vapor flavors so you know this is actually a pretty big fill port you wouldn't if you had just like a a little thin drip tip you could probably use you probably didn't need to use a needle nose for this actually so it filled up there is the mouthpiece, there is the battery contacts, and you can see the e-liquid level, the little wicks at the bottom. I'm going to let that saturate up, and um, these pods do hold two mils of e-liquid. There is only one direction you can fit the pod in. I need to let this charge up because it is dead. So while that is charging, it's 250 milliamp hour battery, which is really small. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it, but I need to let it charge, otherwise it's not gonna vape for me. So again, two pods, two mils. I'll use this. So it's 107.5 millimeters tall by 18.4 millimeters this way. And then in depth, it is eight millimeters. It weighs about 20 grams and it is a aluminum alloy plus PC material. The output power range is 10 to 16 watts. It does have an eight second cutoff protection feature and a short circuit protection feature. And the little indicator light does turn red when it's charging and the little indicator light will shut off when it's fully charged. I am gonna give it a few minutes to charge though. So that's really all it is a stick battery and two little pods and I like that you can fill your own e-liquid into it. I didn't see um, on the little user's guide what the ohms of these specific pods were so I'm gonna go hunting online and see if I can 
um, if see if I can find out what the ohms are of these pods. But um, in whoops introduction here when you rush to a friend's party too late to pack up things when you lazily lied on the couch drinking whiskey and still felt something was lacking or when you were asked to make a choice that you could only carry one portable thing with you what would you carry and choose the answer is quite simple nothing is more appropriate to take along fit Fit is the fittest, ultra slim figure, small and exquisite, all-in-one design, light and portable, plug and vape, plug and charge, two air driven pods, which means you just vape to, or you inhale to vape it, etc. Fit is born to be a gentle companion whose comfortable palate makes you almost forget its existence, yet when you need it, Fit will satisfy your vaping demands at any moment. Innovation keeps changing the vaping experience. What are they smoking? Hang on, first of all, they're calling me like a lazy drunk. <laughs> when you lazily lied on a couch drinking whiskey. What the hell? That was the weirdest introduction I've ever read. And this isn't even a new thing. Like, what's, what smoke smock? What are you smoking smock? Or smog. So directvapor.com didn't actually have the ohms of the coils either and the fit kit is no longer on smock or smoke's actual website so maybe they discontinued making it and now they're just selling the rest through their distributors so here is the little dickens it's actually a pretty shiny red This is not fully charged because the indicator light was still red, but I don't want to wait however long it's going to take to charge it. I want to do this video because, I mean, like, there's not much more to it. Clouds, bitch, from this little tiny thing. I mean, this is really small, so it would, I mean, battery-wise, 250 milliamp hours. So this, I think, would have to be a backup. Definitely not a um, main daily driver for me. But it produces good clouds. As most smoke smock stuff does. Well... That is, that's that. I mean, there's not much more to it. I, I'm so surprised that the indicator light doesn't flash when it's connected. That's something that I've seen all of these little stick batteries do. <sighs> Flavor's all right. It's keeping up with my chain vaping. No dry hit right there. Um, also not too warm, like a hot little vape. And yeah, a tighter airflow, but like it would be on something like this. Probably great for um, Nick salts. Also a more of a mouth to lung vape, but I have been direct to lung vaping it. That was a mouth to lung. That's just not the way I vape, so it's not. I, I direct to lung vape almost everything, even if it's supposed to be an MTL vape. All right, guys, that is the Smoke or Smock Fit Kit. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Check directvapor.com for this if you're interested. That's one place that still has it. Don't forget to fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.